Hello everyone and welcome back to part 14 on how to create a Among Us type game on Roblox. Uh, before we start, I want to say that I want to say thank you guys so much for uh, 300 subscribers. I really appreciate that and that I'm doing a 1000 Roblox giveaway and I reached 1000 subscribers. So make sure to subscribe. I will choose a random winner and give him 1000 Robux. Okay, so let's start. Firstly, uh, let me show you. As you can see right now, Let's wait for this to load and for the game to start. And you should be able to see the... Uh... Okay, so the imposter frame and the chromate frame fades out, but it, I don't really like it. So what we're going to do is uh, delete both of them. The imposter frame and the chromate frame. Let me make this bigger so you can see. Let's delete it. Let me just re resize this. Okay, so delete the, both of the frames. And now add a brand new frame and set the size to 1, 0, 1, 0. This should fill up the entire screen. And now uh, you have to set the background call 3 to whatever you want. I'm going to make it black. And add a text label to it. going to make it this big and center it and go to plugins you know conversion and scale i will leave a link to this plugin in the description as always and now we will set the background transparency to one i mean you can customize yours just don't don't change uh, anything besides the uh, text you are the imposter and the make sure that text scale is set to two and that the text color is set to whatever you want. I'm going to make it red. But I think it looks cleaner. And the other colors. And make sure that text stroke transparency is set to 1. And that the text. Uh, the font. I mean the font is set to. I mean you can choose whatever font you want. But I'm going to choose. Uh. I found a font that I really like for this kind of game. Uh, let me show you. Yeah, this one. Permanent May Marker. So this one looks pretty, pretty cool, I think. So now all you have to do is set the background transparency of the frame to 1. And the background transparency of the text label. Uh, I mean text transparency to zero to uh with text transparency not text zero transparency make sure that the text transparency is set to one and now you should be good to go so add a local script to your frame and we'll create three variables uh, or five i think a local frame we'll create one for the frame is equal to of course square dot parent uh square dot parent and now we'll create a variable for the text label so local Let's rename it to, let's set the variable name to title is equal to frame dot title dot text label. And now we'll create a variable for tween service. So local tween service is equal to game column get service, get service, not get children, get service and put some, some, some of these and uh, tween service. And now we'll create a variable, which is going to be our time to fade. So time with a capital T is equal to 3. Uh, I mean, you can change this to whatever you want. This is going to be the time that it's going to, how long it, uh, it's going to take for the frame to, uh, to fade out or fade in. So what we're going to do now, we are done with variables. Uh, I think all we have to do is uh, create an event. So game dot storage dot show UI one dot on client event call connect function. We don't need any arguments. Let me zoom out and we'll uh, write tween. Let me zoom in. Tween service on create frame comma 
drop a line and uh, queen info queen info dot new um time and i forgot to put a comma and uh, i think we have to uh, give it the property that we want to change so just uh, put two of these this kind of brackets and we will write back background background transparency make sure that you write it like me is equal to zero so make sure to change that you make it equal to zero not one and uh, make sure that you wrote a transparent background transparency with a capital b and capital t all we have to do now is put a closing bracket and uh, a i mean a normal bracket and just delete the old one for now and write a colon play and now we will copy this paste it here let me drop a line and instead of frame we'll change it to text uh, i mean title yeah title comma text transparency is equal to zero and now we'll wait five seconds you can change this way to whatever you want and copy these all of the these twins and paste it here and change uh, this to one and this to one this is how we, your script should look like and now let's test this out i hope this works four seconds left three seconds one and as you can see the text label is not fitting let's see why text transparency is equal to zero why do we have the error missy twin service i will create title comma twin info time text transparency oh here's why instead of writing text transparency i wrote text transparency so i forgot to add the n n here and another n here that's why i told you to to write the text and uh, background transparency right or else it won't work so yeah let's see if it works and we'll be making a better better outfit because this one looks pretty ugly not gonna lie as you can see it's now working great all we have to do now uh, is select both of our screen GYs and and make sure to check this this box right here that says ignore uh, GY inset and now everything should be working fine oh wait what I do I do let me show you what this does it should get rid of this bar right here your, your uh, GYs are not going to be blocked by this bar again. Let me show you. As you can see now, it's in the screen. Why is it not full screen? Okay, so now I checked the box. And it should be working. As you can see, uh, this bar is now uh, up here. And uh, let me show you. When the... Uh, when the frame fades, it should cover the entire screen this time, not just uh, half of it. I mean, it's not really half, but you know what I mean. Now, all you have to do is rename the frame to imposter and duplicate it, and rename the duplicated one to uh, crewmate. Uh, crewmate. Crewmate. And change the text to crewmate 
you are a crew mate and i'm going to change i'm going to also change the font let me change the text transparency so i can see my so i can see my text i'm going to change the font to uh let's look, let's look for a good font this one looks pretty innocent yeah let's i'm gonna keep this one and i'm going to change the text color to a nice blue and i'm going to set the text transparency back to one and this should work uh, I mean, I forgot to change the enter the script of the crewmate frame and change the show UI one to show UI two. And now let's test the. Uh, let me do something. I forgot to change this to two. Now I'm going to test the game with two players and see all the bugs that we have. Uh, before we do that, uh. Uh, we don't want the player, uh, the imposter, to be able to do some tasks, and also we will add more tasks. Okay, so what we're gonna do is uh, instead of this tasks folder in the workspace, so that's instead of the map. Uh, in, uh, inside of the these two tasks, enter the scripts, and what we're gonna do is uh, in here we'll check if player on find if not not player on find first child imposter value then and then add an end right here and the do the same thing for the other task so after the player variable we'll put if player uh, if not player can find first child imposter value then and then put in and again okay so let's see if it works i hope it works let's test uh, the game with two players and hope that our script worked it should work if we our crewmate but if we are an imposter we can't do the tasks so it should be working and also uh we will also change the character a bit that so looks better Close the drain editor on edit Okay, so it says that we are crewmates and that player 2 is a crewmate and player 1 is an imposter. So what we're going to do is we'll try to... As you can see, we can't do a task as an imposter, but as a crewmate, we should be able to do a task. Okay, so this one is working. This one too is working. Uh, we have an error in the disable chat scripts, and we have an error on the dis disable chat script too. Uh, so let's try fixing that. Let's enter our disable chat script and emergency time is equal to game and our application storage. Yeah, it was here. Okay, so script dot parent. Uh, let's put con wait for child and this here. So this should be working now. So local stage label is equal to script dot parent. Uh, remove this dot. Con wait for child main. Con wait for child status label. So this should be working. Now what we're gonna do is. Uh, make a better starter character so all we have to do for this is uh, drag the starter character that's inside of the starter player to the workspace and press f to zoom in and we'll modify this a bit because i think it looks pretty ugly not gonna lie 
So we'll just remove the back and the capsule and the glasses. We don't need them. And now we'll go to, I will leave a link to this model in the description. So we'll just go to toolbox, my models, press this uh, button right here. And it should appear on my models. You should see this uh, capsule. I'm going to scale it down so it fits the body and i'm going to why do i can't move move it oh because i forgot to turn off collisions so to turn off collisions just press on this button right here and now let's make a body this i think this looks pretty good uh i'm going to rename this to uh, I, I mean i'm going to put it inside of the starter character and uh, i'm going to add a world constraint to it and i'm going to remove this normal world i'm going to set part zero to the capsule and part one to the uh upper torso and to duplicate the capsule again and to rename it to uh back and i'm going to put back here and uh, let me make it white for now so i can see what i'm doing okay, wait, let me put it like this and scale it down while holding shift to scale all of it okay so i think this back look this back back looks cool put it here and duplicate it again and rename it to glasses glasses i'm going to put it here and uh, let me scale this down. Okay, so this should be it, I think. Oh, I forgot to turn off collision. Just select your entire character and make sure that can collide is set to false. And then drag it back to the the star blur and uh, i think we have to duplicate it and rename it to body so just delete this uh, body in replicate storage duplicate your starter character rename it to body and remove body colors from it and humanoid from it and drag it inside of replicate storage uh, and then i think i'm going to drag it in the workspace to drag it up So it doesn't do that bug again and i'm going to drag it back to replicate the storage and see if it works okay so we are not loaded yet as you can see this is much better than the old one i think the player is going to look better with arms maybe let me try arms Let me go to his uh, not head, uh, right hand, and right, right lower, lower arm, and the right uh, upper arm, arm and hand, and right uh, upper arm. And this is it. And I'm going to set the transparency to zero. Oh, does it do that? Wait. Transparency to zero. And this should look better, I think. I might be wrong. Try putting it here. No, this looks ridiculous. So, I think this this is going to be it for today's tutorial.
this helped make sure to subscribe like the video share it with your friends and i'll see you in the next one wait let me try out emotes oh it's disabled uh and i'll see you in the next one bye